Yeah, uh, things are good. Believe it or not, we're about to reach the end of year two of our venture, and it looks like our results would be almost exactly what we originally projected. Talk about one in a million. Well, uh, wait till you hear this. I got a call the other day from a uh, person named Wanda Wilkins, and uh, Wanda, it turns out, owns the empty lot next door to the house. At first, I was afraid she was calling to complain about how we keep using her property to park cars and for parties and things like that. But she didn't even mention that. Instead, she asked if we might be interested in selling the house. Something about the way she asked me, though, made me suspicious. So finally, she admitted something really interesting. Well, the uh, story goes that she bought the lot a few years back because it was selling very cheap. Apparently, the reason is that the zoning on that lot is single-family residential. And, well, you know that there aren't any single-family homes left in this part of town. It's all student housing around here. But Wanda figured she could get a variance and that when she did the lot, you know, the value of the lot would just jump, right? But she's been trying for three years now and the city just won't budge. Wanda finally hired a, a local real estate lawyer who told her something very interesting. Apparently there is an exception in the zoning rules that says if you are the owner of two adjacent lots, right, you can follow the least restrictive zoning category if you are developing both lots together. So if she owned both our house and her lot together, she could do a multi-unit building on the combined lot. And that's what she wants to do. Yeah, and uh, build a 40-unit building on the combined property. Nope. Uh, we came up with an even better idea. Uh, we're going to go partners with her on the whole project. Well, uh, we would form a new entity. We uh, would contribute the house, and she would contribute the lot. Uh, our equity in our house is right now worth $100,000, and we figure that's what her lot is pretty much worth. So we each own half of the new entity for our respective contributions, and she thinks we can get the new building up and running for $5 million. She is pretty confident she can get a bank loan for the $4 million of the $5 million. And she and another investor type she knows would put in the rest. Uh, we'd need to refinance that part of the deal. So actually the total cash needed would be $5 million plus uh, the $250,000 we'd need to pay off what's left uh, on the mortgage. Exactly. Uh, she says she would put in 250000 and her investor person would do the rest. Um, she says she's going to get a term sheet from the investor. Her idea is that she would accept whatever terms we collectively manage to negotiate with this investor. Yeah, Rick and I are really pumped. My mom is waiting to see what the term sheet says, but I think she sees how this really transforms this whole thing for Rick and myself. I mean, now we're doing a real deal, not some small, you know, uh, six unit thing. And, <clears throat> uh, you know, we'd be re running a real apartment building here, 40 units.